Hi, this is Tom McSpirit. I'm a senior solutions engineer with Couchbase. I've been with Couchbase for approximately three years. And uh, I have a large background in uh, database technology uh, previous to Couchbase, specifically uh, with Oracle and other RDBMS systems. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, Couchbase and our NoSQL distributed architecture and distributed uh, database. So with Couchbase, in terms of, of how to distribute the database evenly among the number of data nodes within a Couchbase cluster, what we do, we have a concept of auto sharding based on the key of the document that will be input into Couchbase cluster itself. So once the Couchbase SDK uh, inserts this document into Couchbase, what happens is via the SDK, the customer key, in this example, customer 100, is put through a CR30, CRC32 hash algorithm, which then um, creates, uh, puts it into a specific shard. And the way that Couchbase works is we have 1024 number of shards, and these keys are then evenly distributed based on the outcome of that algorithm. So for this example, we have customer 100, uh, put through the algorithm, it is then placed into shard number three. Now via the shard to node cluster map, we then assign shard number three to node D. So as you can see on the bottom box, node D is then that shard three on node D is put into uh, the Couchbase uh, cluster on data node D. So as long as there are four data nodes within the Couchbase cluster, that shard three or customer 100 will always be resident on node D. Now, for the reasons that distributed databases are popular, if for some reason uh, this four node cluster uh, and we lose, for example, data node D, the data will then be redistributed among the three remaining nodes. And because of that redistribution, the cluster map will be updated. So for example, maybe now, because of the uh, lesser of one node, shard three will be now placed on data node C. Now, conversely, if instead of a four node cluster, we add a node because of you know performance considerations or resource utilization, et cetera, Again, that's considered what we call a topology change. So we're going from a four node Couchbase cluster to a five node Couchbase cluster. So again, that shard three that is now resident on data node D in a four node cluster, the fifth node will be added and potentially because of the resharding or redistribution of the data um, will that shard three will now be resident on data node E or the fifth node. So again, any kind of topology change to the Couchbase cluster itself will update the shard to node cluster map. Um, and then uh, because of this, the Couchbase SDK is essentially uh, an intelligent client in the sense that uh, whenever the uh, application itself is doing a get operation, the cluster map knows exactly where the key resides on. So it'll get the data exactly from the specific node because the cluster map essentially knows which node will to retrieve from. And because of this, one, we get a very performant operation in the sub millisecond uh, range, even to the microseconds. And then two, we have an evenly distributed uh, uh, of the data itself, so there are no hotspots. Now, this is very important because of some of the, our competitors or some of the other NoSQL distributed databases do not have this auto sharding technique. And the auto sharding, um, because they don't have that technique, they do a manual sharding, and that manual sharding uh, can uh, produce hotspots on some of the nodes. But with the way that Couchbase uh, performs the auto sharding, uh, we don't get those hotspots, and each node uh, is reading and writing data, most likely on an even uh, basis.
again. So this is again, one of the differentiators of a couch base uh, architecture with our auto sharding feature via the CRC32 hash algorithm. Thank you.